In this lesson, we're going to show you how to standardize statements and then teach you different ratios and their purposes. Common size statements. A common size statement is a financial statement that is expressed in percentages instead of currencies. It is a common way for accountants and analysts to standardize financial statements to make them easier to compare to other companies. It would be quite difficult to compare the financial statements of two different companies if one was much larger than the other or if their financial statements were expressed in different currencies. Here you can see that we have a regular balance sheet that states all of the different accounts and currency. And then here we've basically just made every account as a percentage of total liabilities and owner's equity. A common way to standardize income statements is by expressing each item as a percentage of sales. This will tell us what happens to each dollar of sales. For our example, you can see that interest eats up a little over six cents out of every dollar in sales. Taxes takes out almost eight cents and 58 cents of every dollar in sales pays for cost of goods sold. When analyzing the income statement, cost is a relevant issue to analyze. Analysts would take this income statement and compare items such as cost of goods sold to their competitors to see how they compare. Analysts look very closely at income statements to see how well a company is actually performing. Some commonly used measures of earnings are net income, earnings per share, earnings before interest and tax, earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, and amortization. Net income is often referred to as the bottom line. It is defined as revenues minus total expenses. These expenses include all expenses such as taxes and interest. Shareholders take a strong look at net income because retained earnings and dividends are closely associated with net income. Earnings per share is simply the net income divided by the number of outstanding shares. Earnings before interest and taxes is often called income from operations or operating income on the income statement. It is the income before unusual expenses such as expenses associated with discontinuing a project or extraordinary items. To calculate EBIT, operating expenses are subtracted from revenues. Analysts prefer to look at EBIT because it shows the company's true performance by not including items that are not associated with operations. Earnings before interest, tax, depreciation, and amortization. This is earnings before interest and taxes plus depreciation and amortization. Here amortization does not refer to payments for debt. It refers to non-cash expenses such as depreciation, but it applies to intangible assets such as patents rather than tangible assets such as machines. Analysts like earnings before interest and taxes, depreciation and amortization because it adds back to non-cash items and is a better measure of operating cash flow.